In the last video, we went over the old version one, the SR955HP CTCSS tone board and DCS tone board installation all in one board here. That was a pretty simple video. I said, well, why not dust off the old version two? Yes, it's that version two dusted off. It's been sitting around quite some time. So why not go ahead and install that board into this radio? Okay, well, this is gonna be Kind of fun. Ready? Look at that. It's already installed? No, it's even better than that. This board is not even needed any longer. It's built directly into the board. Thank goodness. So yes, if you have these, you don't need to buy one. If you're used to buying one for your version 1 and you upgrade to the version 2, you don't need to get one of these as long with it. It's built into the radio, so that's cool. Now, does that mean you still don't have to take your covers off? Well, you do if you want to, you know, find that jumper and uh, take it out. It's a white jumper about like that. You'll see it on the board. And it looks out of place. It's about the only one. But, uh, yeah, you don't need the uh, tone board installed on it, but, yeah, that will expand it for you. There are some jumpers on the main board, and I advise you not to touch those. Why? Well, they're not opening up your radio for channels. I can tell you that right now. So leave those alone and just go ahead and find that goofy little jumper. You'll see it right in the front where the uh, ribbon cable is. Go ahead and take that out. In worst case scenario, snip it. But uh, yeah, it's better just to pop the cover off on the bottom side here and top. Pull it out with a desolder. Just do it. Do it. Be done with. You don't have something flopping around in there. Anyway, we'll say uh, 73. It was a pretty pretty tough video here. Get that version 2 programmed and installed that board. I'm glad you stuck with me, man. That was tough. That was tough. Well, I do appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video. 73.